Perhaps more than our other Jewish holidays, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur are deeply theological. That is to say, they're holidays that ask us to spend time reflecting on our relationship with God. Hanukkah and Purim, by contrast, are both somewhat famously highly non-theological, unconcerned with God, focusing instead on human history, the victory of the Maccabees, the bravery of Esther and Mordechai. Not so with the High Holy Days. On nearly every page of our High Holiday prayer book, we are reminded of our relationship with God, as we sing Avinu Malkeinu, as we blast the shofar, as we confess our wrongdoings before God. For those of us who do not easily resonate with the word God, what I suspect is a majority in a congregation like ours, this theological focus might be challenging or even alienating. But perhaps we might find inspiration in the writings of Mordechai Kaplan, considered by many to be one of the greatest interpreters of the American Jewish experience. Kaplan understood God as the belief that life is worthwhile. These High Holy Days, when we are asked to do the challenging work of reflecting on our relationship with God, perhaps we might find Kaplan's idea useful. We might ask ourselves, what can I do to affirm that life is worthwhile? Who knows? If we ask the question, we just might be surprised as we listen for the answer. Shana Tova.